sorry, ever feel like you're losing your mind just like I am right now? Let me explain how um, there could be um, a hormonal link to the feeling that we're losing our mind. Uh, changes in estrogen and progesterone can cause mood swings and memory, concentration, uh, they are, and our mood are all impacted by our hormone levels. For example, when we have a drop in progesterone, we can feel irritable. And you may feel a little tired and depressed or irritable and struggle with memory um, or even get that fuzzy headed feeling. And that could just be the emotional um, symptoms of hormone, of hormone imbalances. And it's important to recognize that we're actually not losing our mind. Well, we can't, you know, just go off and lose our mind and, and be crazy. We have to be responsible for our behavior. It's helpful for us to understand that there is this hormonal link and uh, so that we're not so hard on ourselves. So um, just as an example, if you have teenagers or have had teenagers, you know that there's this thing called puberty and people, um, you know, you can't, you can't solve puberty. Our kids are gonna go through puberty. It's a difficult time, and the only thing we can do is help them manage those mood swings, and that's the same, that's the same thing with us. And so, uh, while teenagers are trying to kind of figure out their way in the world, um, you know, who they are and, you know, what they're gonna be when they get older, uh, our changing hormones, menopause is a great time for us to rethink and reevaluate where we are in our lives. And hopefully it's a good time for us to start to think about, you know, self-care. I always, um, you know, go back to the thought that women our age, you know, in our 40s, our 50s and, and a little bit beyond, we're kind of sometimes that sandwich generation where we're taking care of kids, we're taking care of elderly parents, um, and like, when is there time for us? So now it's, you know, it's a good time to kind of reflect and assess and, you know, see you know, what we can do for us, maybe make some healthy changes for us. And now the good news is that while we can't change progesterone and estrogen, we can do a lot to balance our hormones through nutritional eating. And so um, the good news is that the Healthy Hormone Challenge is gonna be opening up uh, next week. And so I wanna make sure that you are aware of that. Uh, we've got over 80 on the waiting list, and so make sure that you get on the waiting list so that you don't miss out. The women in the Healthy Hormone Challenge now uh, are having a great um, experience. While lots of them are losing 5, 10 pounds, we're really focusing on non-scale victories as well because uh, I feel like, you know, as, I don't want to say as older women, but as wiser women, uh, we know that while we all want to look better, feeling better and having that better self-image, um, having more energy, being more functional, like we know it's not just about the aesthetics. We value more than just the aesthetics. So yes, we're losing weight, we're looking and feeling better, our clothes are feeling better, but overall, we're sleeping better. We're, um, we are less irritable. Uh, one person said, I don't know what's in those, those, that meal plan, but it's magical because I just feel so great. And so I thought that was really great. It's just that mental outlook and that change. So that's a really great thing as well. So, um, you know, it's surprising that like a lot of people think when you go through menopause, you know, we can't do anything because progesterone, estrogen, they're just gonna do what they're gonna do. And that is true to some extent, but there are lots of other hormones that we can balance. And so when we, when we um, balance those, we can moderate and really, um, you know, minimize the other symptoms of menopause. So while we can't, um, you know, while there are these changes in estrogen and progesterone, and we may be feeling um, like a little crazy sometimes, we can take control of other areas of our life to help us balance out so we don't feel like the, 
you know, the the mood swings quite as deeply. So I would love to help you do that. So please make sure to get in that, um, to get on the waiting list. Uh, the Healthy Hormone Challenge will be opening shortly. Uh, so I'll have a link up for you uh, somewhere along in some somewhere on here soon and uh, just wanted to check in with you and uh, know that you are not going crazy there is a hormonal component to some of your fuzzy headed thinking and that sort of thing but we can offset some of your you know mood swings and other menopausal issues with some healthy eating so i hope that uh I hope that helps you uh, know that you know you're in good company with people here, uh, with other women in their 40s and 50s and beyond, and that we will band together uh, to help each other out. Have a great night.